Hi, this is John DeVore. Welcome to the DeVore Fidelity YouTube channel. Today's going to be a live album recommendation. Well, a live album discussion. And But first I want to do a dealer shout out. I'm wearing a t-shirt that Roxy is blocking at the moment. So I'm just going to move my Roxy for a second. Uh, Gig Harbor Audio. This is a shop outside of Seattle in Washington. It looks beautiful. This is one of my newer dealers, my, one of my more recent dealers, and it's one of the ones who I unfortunately have not visited yet. But looking at it, both the, the shop itself with lots of cool home-built stuff and vintage stuff, and the place itself uh, seems like a, a place I'm definitely going to visit. Actually, the album was inspired by their t-shirt. So it is an upside down pentagram. And no, that does not mean that I'm a devil worshiper. And as far as I know, the, the nice guys at Gig Harbor Audio are also not devil worshipers. Uh, this is actually from a, an album cover uh, for the band Rush. And so the live album that I'm gonna talk about today is Rush. Exit stage, stage Left. This is the first Rush album I bought. This came out when I was in high school and I bought it. I bought it because on the radio was Tom Sawyer and I thought that was a pretty cool song. In high school, let me just welcome Roxy back to my lap here. In high school, well, in more really more elementary school and in middle school, I was a really big Led Zeppelin fan. Really big Red, Led Zeppelin fan. I also, I love the police, I love the pretenders, but um, for me, Rush, in my mind, didn't compare well to Led Zeppelin. The, Rush was like the, the weird, nerdy, awkward Canadian relatives that didn't drink. They just took lots of vitamins and had tons of energy. <laughs> They were like, they were just, I didn't really get it. Their their stuff was busy and fancy, and there's there's no question that Neil Peart could fucking play drums, and Geddy Lee, you know, give or take his voice, was a fantastic bass player. I mean, the, you know, they were locked and loaded. I didn't really know where to, where to place them. I totally dug, as a police fan, I totally dug that they were a trio and and what they were able to accomplish with three people, still boggles the mind. So I had a ton of respect for them. So then when Tom Sawyer came out, I was like, that's a pretty catchy tune. You know, it seems a lot more poppy. So I went out and I bought this record, not not thinking that this was live or anything like that, but I looked on the back and I was like, oh, Spirit of the Radio, I remember that song. That's a cool song. You know, oh, Tom Sawyer's on this, I'll get this. And I played it and I, even after I played it a little bit, it was hard to believe that it was a live album. It, completely sounds like a studio album you know it's 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 just weird i mean everything you know rush is rush is uh rush is a trip you know they did things a little differently everything about you know even the record like super weird puppet guy here the big grin and naked guy here and like i said even then um there's no question that neil pert was a, a just an absolute monster drummer I certainly preferred Bonham at the time, and I'd still prefer Bonham. He wasn't playing as many notes, but sometimes there's too many notes. Um, and the, you know, the solos that Pert would do are phenomenal, but, you know, you got him doing melodies on cowbells and on tom-toms, and it's just, it's, it's, it's a kind of a lot to deal with. Anyway, it is an amazing performance. These guys seriously are amazing performers. I now have a lot of Rush records and I love them all, but this is, this was my first Rush record and it is a great one. It's not great as a live album. Um, I think also there was a lot of overdubbing on this. Most of Rush is mixed really well. It, it's mixed very bottom heavy. Um, so kick drums and Getty Lee's bass lines are right up there in the mix. Super fun to listen to. It's a little bass heavy. You know, I feel, you know, Alex, his guitar playing is great, but you know, he definitely gets the short end of the stick in the mix and the short end of the stick song wise. And you know, probably that's what he deserved talent wise because the other two were serious monsters. Um, so there you go. <laughs>
Rush, exit stage left. Is this stage left? Stage left is for me, right? So it's this is my left. Exit stage left. Thank you very much. See you at the next video. Bye.